Go to the microphone. Yes, sir. You want to show from right here then? Yes, yes, yes. All right, good. Ian Bourne, BeijingReporter.com. I wanted to find out in regards to the Agricultural Protection Act that was promised in the first hundred days of coming into office. What, what is the proceed, progress with that, the Agricultural Protection Act? as listed in the manifesto. The Minister of Agriculture is not your brother, Paul, and you see how he can address it. I cannot purport to speak for the Minister of Agriculture on this matter. I'm glad you asked the question. Because somehow, we don't understand that we have to place our priorities in perspective as a nation. I agree with you. We need to pay great attention, not only to, to the whole question of the agriculture protection act, not only from the point of view of the preservation of agriculture in this country, but also if we are to exercise the kind of responsibility to our environment, that we need to, we have to pay attention to it. If you know in some of the, I think in one of my last speeches in Parliament, I indicated concern to my colleagues in terms of the, the pain at which we are moving in respect of the Agriculture Protection Act. And I want to say to you that I will be agitating for it to be put into place. I think it is vital that we do it because we need to have some sense of the future direction in which we will manage our fiscal resources so that we don't compromise it for our children in the future. And I want to say that I understand the concerns. I think that should have been done. I will be advocated to have it done. Thank you, Ian. I see the, well, the executive members in the, the Michael Effector branch stand before the microphone, and I'm really biting my lips to tell him not to speak. <laughs> because he has Mr. Paul's ears every day. But um, as the audience would like to give, would you all give me a hint and we should let him speak. Uh, Mr. Walter, you, you, you can ask your question. Ladies and gentlemen, I find myself in a quandary because Mr. Paul is my representative, Mr. John Boyce is my friend, former work colleague. So at the same time, I think I find myself in a most fortunate position to achieve what I want to achieve. And what I want to achieve here is support for my representative, Mr. Paul. I support him in his call to the Minister of Public Works for the construction of that concrete track at the top of Bellville Avenue. You have my full support in asking to have that done. I have lived in Bellville Avenue for almost four years, and that track is a connection for Kale Hill. Whitehall, Brazil, Longia, people coming down to Bayville Avenue to get the bus to the north, people going to work, people coming up to work in the industrial center, taking children to the school, to the dead nursery. It's important, it's very important in the community. People have been robbed, people have been robbed there. People now get off the bus at the bus. Mr. Walker, Mr. Walker, the your representative has written on that matter. The matter is in Urban Development Commission work program. Uh, you, I, you are, I forgot you. Mr. 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 Walker, you ask to have the road right behind you done. About 50 yards from that road, it is being done. You can't get all done the same thing. You will get it done. I welcome your assurance. Thank you very much.